it's a great example where if you do see it and once you've seen it then you can't unsee it because the the mind will just as soon as it's seen a pattern in something that's it right the pattern's there I think um I shared before that Anil Seth I'll share it again after tonight if it because everyone not, might, might not have had it from previous time, but um, the Anil Seth video about we're, how we're hallucinating our reality. He uh, plays like what sounds like really garbled language and it just doesn't sound like anything. And then he plays it in like normal speech. And then when he plays the garbled one again, you can totally hear mm, the normal speech yeah. in the garbled. And so it's that, it's the, the mind is so quick at at turning blobs into a thing or turning garble into words and learning these patterns and so quickly then applying them. And again, it's an example where that, that ability of the left hemisphere to do that and to pattern make and to meaning make really out of what's where there's nothing. Um, that's what's what it's doing all the time. And really that's ultimately what it's doing to create a sense of self. That's that idea of self that we think we are. All it's doing is collecting together all these bits of information. So look at all these stories of how I've done this and I got that right and I remember this and I have these beliefs and um, I see these patterns and, um, and I make these decisions and it's collecting all this stuff together and making meaning out of it. It's collecting a load of blobs and then saying, there's a self. When really, really, there's nothing there but activity of thought. And I really like this picture that, um, I can't remember the guy's name, Chris Niebauer used to represent that. Where if these, I'm guessing you all can see a triangle in the middle. <laughs> it's not as hard as the cow one. <laughs> So it looks like there's a triangle here just because of the arrangement of these bits. But really what's there is three pointy lines and three cheeses or cakes, um, which appear to create a triangle, but there is no triangle there. And so same with the idea of self from a neurological perspective, the mind is collecting together these bits and pieces of of shapes and patterns and putting them together and going self. Pretending there's a thing there and there's nothing. And in fact, when you take these away, the space that's there currently is still there in the absence of these objects, unchanged. Just the imagined boundary has been removed and that's the same kind of experience we have as we see through the these ideas that the self has of, of what it is. And we see that the beliefs aren't truths. We see that the concepts aren't truths. We see that um, the stories are made up second by second. <coughs> then these, these bits crumble and fall away. And that space that's left is the space of, of who we are just now, relieved of the imagined boundaries that were there holding it in place before, but only imagined. <laughs>